Hello everybody, my name is Gar Reynolds and very quickly I want to show you two things that you can do in Zoom, two adjustments that you can make in the settings that will greatly increase the quality of your audio and the quality of your video. Okay, first thing is the audio. So go into audio settings and then go down to here. Now I already turned this on, but for most people this will be turned off. Show in meeting option to enable original sound. That is usually turned off. Now look up here when I turn, that's hard to do. Look up here when I turn this on, show in meeting. You'll see that comes, there, there is the option. So the original sound, this sounds really good right now, but this is not as good as it sounds on the other end, what's broadcast out there. But we can get that original sound or much closer to it by making sure that we turn this on. You can also choose your microphone from there. But just keep the original sound on and then that's going to really, really sound nice. It's going to make a huge difference. Most people don't know about it, but uh, it, it makes a big difference. It can really make you sound much better. Uh, you can also change, uh, if you have a, a stereo microphone, you can uh, turn that on. So if you do that, right go down here music and professional audio make sure that's turned on so that you'll get this option for original sound and you can turn that off if you want if bandwidth is really a huge issue i'm using a desktop uh, computer mac mini m1 with a direct internet connection for the desktop so that's around 400 megabits per second but i'll show you over here on my student computer simulating a student that's darth vader up here uh, i'm just using wi-fi on the other end at around 40 megabits per second to kind of simulate what it looks like and you'll really see that there is a difference but trust me it does sound better with this original sound turned on okay that's number one number two is how can we get better video this looks great here and maybe this has happened to you where you're really happy with your video but then when you see what's on the other side or what your students were looking at or your co-workers it wasn't as good we can improve that so what you do uh instead of you know broadcasting like i am now this, i mean this is just i'm using virtual camera uh, using mm -hmm as a virtual camera and I could broadcast this out and this is what it looks like so what you're seeing now on the other computer is it doesn't look bad but you can see the letters are a little a little bit blurry or here on this slide for example if I make it full screen it's a little bit blurry it's not terrible but we can do better so what we do is we go to screen share and if you're under basic of course you won't see it that usually basic opens up first but go to advance and then go to content from second camera and click these on, make sure these are on, and then share that. This will grow a little bit larger, which we don't need right now. Okay, and so what you'll see now, look over on the other computer, you'll see that this looks noticeably better. I'll turn off the uh, video. It's kind of distracting. So now, yeah, you would see two videos of yourself uh, along with all the other students, but uh, you can turn yourself off and still see uh, yourself in the frame there. So the text does look better. So this is with um, second camera and this is what it looks like uh, without the second camera. Let's look at some other examples. So this is full screen. This is with the second camera over the shoulder and then this is what it looks like with not using second camera but just using uh, direct feed. Again here's another example. This is with the second camera this is without the second camera. Let's look at some video. So here's full screen video, slow motion video. It looks pretty good with the second camera. What does it look like here now with the, um, not using the second camera, but this is around probably 720 or 480p. I'm not sure. Another video. And it looks pretty good with the second camera. Here it is without the second camera, just directly doesn't look as good and here again just having some text to kind of see the difference like before after second camera not second camera right does that make sense so anyway those are two things you can do one is change the audio to use second camera for your video feed that should make a huge difference let me know how it goes thanks very much bye bye <laughs>